I'm Natasha Osman, and I'm the head of Homeowners Insurance Cover at ABSA Insurance Company. ABSA understands that we don't only think about insurance. We think about the things that you love. At ABSA Insurance Company, we understand that your home is not just a building. It is the place where you make your greatest memories. And we attempt to ensure that you are correctly insured, that in the event of an unfortunate event, you are covered for your property. When applying for a home loan through ABSA, it is important to note that a homeowner's comprehensive insurance cover is mandatory requirement for a home loan application to be approved. At ABSA, we make this process seamless for you as a customer. You're able to obtain a quote through your home loan process, application process, and you're able to select whether you would like a homeowner's comprehensive insurance cover through ABSA Insurance Company. We enable this through the sales process and it makes it seamless for you as a customer. We also provide you affordable premiums that can be debited from your bank account or if you choose, can be debited from your home loan, which allows for your premiums to be paid and for you always to be covered. APSA Insurance Company offers you a homeowner's comprehensive insurance that offers many perils that are covered by our policy. These include, but are not limited to, the bursting, leaking, and overflowing of pipes and geysers, and this covers unlimited through the lifetime of your policy. We also insure you for fire and explosion, for acts of nature, which include storms, lightning, earthquakes, flooding. We include cover for subsidence and landslip, which is a requirement by any bank in terms of a comprehensive insurance cover. We also cover you for um, malicious damage and impact damage where a tree may fall onto a wall on your property or a vehicle may drive into a property and those events are covered by your insurance policy. What's important to note is that as a policy holder or a potential home buyer, you need to understand what you are covered for and what you are not covered for by your insurance policy. Not every ev eventuality is covered by the insurance policy and as a policy holder it is extremely important that you read the policy terms and conditions that you understand what is covered and what is not covered. Our policy wording has been simplified and has examples in it to enable you to understand it and fully understand what the obligations of the insurer are as well as your obligations as the homeowner. There are many tips that we can provide you in terms of your homeowner's insurance cover. And these are simply to read your policy wording, understand the terms and conditions, understand your obligations. Your obligations include maintaining your property, ensuring that when you are purchasing the property, that the property is structurally sound and has no structural defects in it that may later cause damages to the property which would not be insured by an insurance policy. It is important for you to understand that your responsibilities also include the wear and tear that may occur with a newer property that would take longer. With, the old, with older properties, it's important for you to understand that wear and tear and maintenance of older properties is far more important. In terms of your policy, some of the tips that we can provide you with to maintain your property during the seasonal changes that occur and the different types of weather that could affect your property adversely such as when we're moving from the winter seasons to the summer seasons. Okay? You would have collected leaves in the gutters through the winds that have gone by and the leaves that have fallen off the trees during the colder seasons, ensuring that you clear out those gutters from blockages to prevent it in the rainy seasons to actually get blocked with water that could seep into the property and cause further damage to your homes. It is important as well to ensure that shrubs and trees are kept away from the actual structure of your property. Should a fire occur from the outside, it may not necessarily reach your property if you've had your property 
cleaned and well maintained, especially if you live in the outer lying areas or in the felt areas where fires are predominant. What's also important to note is that your plumbing is in order, that your pipes are secure and fitted, that you check your water bills on an ongoing basis, understanding that if there is a spike in the water bill, that you may be experiencing a burst or a leaking pipe that may be under your home or in the walls where it is not visible to the naked eye. And it's important for you to understand that you're able to identify these potential losses and inform your insurer before it could become a major loss to you. In addition, with regards to fires and load shedding that occurs, it's important to understand that switching off of plug points, especially stoves and irons, which can cause fires when electricity is switched back on. These sort of tips help to enable you to manage your insurance risks and manage your property to prevent a loss from occurring. It's also important that you understand that in the change of seasons, there are certain things within your property and outside of your property that need to be taken care of. The running of a pool for eight hours a day during summer, ensuring that your filter system's working and that there are no cracks or damages in your pool to prevent water loss from a pool, which could also affect the foundation of the property and cause major damage and is very costly. Certain events like this are not covered by your insurance policy, so it is very important that you read and understand the terms and conditions. I trust this gives you sufficient information to manage your insurance policy better, understanding homeowners insurance co cover and how important it is to protect your asset and also the memories that you make in your home. I thank you and I now hand over to Miguel Martin. Miguel Martins and I'm from APSA Home Loans. My job is to look after our property investors and as an investor myself I know what it is to buy your first property and to grow that property, deal with tenants etc. And I always look to share my knowledge and my experience as well as the various conversations I have with our customers to ensure that they are getting into property investment in the right way as well as growing their portfolios in a sustainable manner. We go out into the market every year to see how our property investors are doing and what are their needs and pain points. And we tend to find that there are four types of property investors. Those investors who are preparing to invest, and that tends to be the majority of the market, about 45%. Then we find those investors who have got one or two properties putting their toes in the water, and that tends to be another 37% of the market. That drops off significantly though, um, for those investors who have three to 10 properties, with only 8% of investors being in that bracket. And lastly, only 6% of investors have 10 or more properties. For each of, the, of these investor types, we've developed a product to help them to not only initially get into uh, purchasing their first property investment, but also to optimize and grow their portfolios. We've also gone into the market and identified two key partners to help us, to help our customers. That is the South African Property Investor Network and TPN. Michelle and Andrew from those companies will be joining us during this presentation to take you through what their companies can offer you as you invest and grow your portfolios. For those investors preparing to invest, there are three things I really want you to think about. The first thing is your credit score. Ensure that your credit score is good and that you do not have any issues with your credit score. Without that, you will not be able to get favorable terms when it comes to lending with any of the banks. So ensure that you protect it and that you maintain a good credit score. Secondly, knowledge and education. Ensure that you invest in yourself in reading uh, websites, reading books, uh, watching webinars such as this, as well as um, going on courses as they become available. That investment in yourself will pay dividends 10 times when it comes to purchasing a better property investment. And then lastly, your network. Try to find other property investors who are in the same boat as you, either looking to get into property investment or looking to grow. 
they are on the same journey. And what I find with property investors is that they're always willing to share their learnings, um, willing to share their insights, and you can only grow as a property investor as you meet other property investors. For those investors preparing to invest, we have two great products to help you invest in your first property. The My Home Home Loan product is for those investors who earn up to 25,400 Rand. With My Home, you'll get up to 100% LTV, that's loan to value. You'll also get 50% off your bond registration fees and your initiation fees will be zeroed. We give you access to a borrow education course, which is a great course to understand what it is to buy property and to, and to purchase your first investment. The Young Professional Home Loan allows you to borrow up to 105% LTV. That additional 5% is there to help you with your transfer fees and other borrowing costs as you purchase your first property. For the Young Professional, we allow you up to 30% discount of your bond registration fee and the attorney comes to you. Of course, a young professional is anyone with an NQF 8 or higher uh, course. For those investors who have one to two properties, three words I have for you, location, location, location. Ensure that you are investing in areas where there is high demand from tenants. Ensure that you are, or your property is near transport links, as well as amenities that, you're, that you think your tenant would value, such as shopping centers, schools, um, services, etc. By doing so, you add to the product that is your property to let. Lastly, consider the competition in your area. Consider how your property will stand head and shoulders above other properties that are available to let and that tenants will choose your property first. For you, we have the APSA Buy to Let, which allows you to lend up to 100% loan to value. The APSA Buy to Let allows you to use the existing rental income that you're obtaining in your current portfolio toward your income so that you can maximize your affordability. It also has a unique feature, unique to APSA only, the future rental income which for those investors who already have two properties allows you to add the rental income you're going to achieve for the property you're financing towards your affordability, thereby maximizing the lending that, that you can utilize. The future rental income is only for investors who have two properties currently and are looking to grow to their third or more property. For those investors who have three to 10 properties, we find that those investors tend to run into a cash crunch. Cash is incredibly important when it comes to putting down deposits, paying transfer fees, as well as minor renovations that you'll be doing to your investment property. For this, we suggest you look at your property equity. Property equity is the market value of a property less the outstanding loan of the property. So assuming that you have an outstanding loan of 600,000, but your property is worth 800,000. That indicates that you have 200,000 available to, to be able to access as equity in cash. For that, we have the APSA Further Advance. With the APSA Further Advance, you can access this equity. We increase your, your loan and you can use that cash towards any purpose whatsoever, such as investing in and growing your, your property portfolio. For those investors who have 10 or more properties, we want to help you leverage your portfolio to achieve exponential growth. For you, we have the universal package. The universal package is for the sophisticated investor. It allows you to put multiple properties within one facility. Think of it as a home loan on steroids. And as you pay off that home loan, the capital portion of your monthly payment becomes immediately accessible to utilize as you require. There's no need to reapply and you can access it as you wish. The Universal is a 20 year facility with home loan rates. But the key advantage of the Universal is that as you pay that loan down, you can immediately access the capital portion of what you've paid down. There's no need to refinance or to reapply for that capital portion and that's what makes it a facility as opposed to a home loan. So being able to access that capital portion allows you to immediately access cash 
and go and purchase your next investment property. That's why the Universal is really for those sophisticated investors who have a portfolio that they're growing and wanting to increase and leverage that portfolio exponentially. Thanks Michelle and Andrew for joining us on this video. They are really important partners to us and we chose them because TPN and Sapin can really help you get into property investment, grow your portfolio and maintain it through the ups and downs that the property market does throw at us. Awesome, thank you for that. Hey everyone, my, my name is Andrew Walker and I'm the founder of the SA Property Investors Network, otherwise known as Sappen. And I'm also a property investor in my own right. I invest here in Edenvale, the East Rand of Johannesburg, looking for flips, multi-lets and buy-to-lets. Now, what I've realized as a property investor is that it's very important for you to be connected to the right property practitioners, uh, experts like Michelle Dickens from TPN, Bruno Samar from the Bruno Samar uh, Attorneys, having the right conveyance of what about the finance? Do you have the right finance in place? You know, in property, one of the most challenging aspects is getting the right finance. And a piece of advice for, for, for the new people is make sure that if you are going out and buying your very first property, make sure you go to a bank like Absa Bank and just make sure that you can actually get a bond. Now, coming back to the SA Property Investors Network, at, at SAPN as we call it, this is a national platform of like-minded property investors. And the great thing is there's different levels. So there's investors who are just buying the very first investment property. And then we have a range of individuals who are you know, looking to buy the second or third. And then we have some investors who have 15 or more properties. And the great thing about the, about the national SAPN platform is that whether you are looking to connect with uh, an attorney or a conveyancer, whoever it may be, Sappen can provide that for you because it's all about networking, being inspired and getting the right education. And just to share with you, you know, whether you are a brand new property investor, you're looking to buy your first home or your, could be your first or second investment property, you've just got to make sure that you do have the right network. Remember that your net worth is determined by the size of your network. It's not about what you know, but it's about who you know. It's about being connected to the right individuals here in South Africa. So for example, you know, do you, can you tick all these boxes? Are you connected to the right uh, finance specialist house right now? Do you have a bond originator in place? Are you connected directly with a bank like Absa Bank who have fantastic products like the Future Rental product as an example? Do you have access to a property coach? Do you have access to an accountant? What about the right insurance broker? If you're getting into the rental game, you may want to consider rental insurance. So these are all the things that I want you to start thinking about. You know, if you are getting into property or you are already in property, the question is, are you connected to the right property practitioners? And, and like I've said this before, because I've experienced it, as a property investor, your job is to go out there and find the property deals and then raise the finance for the property deal and let the experts do all the work. Part of the due diligence, for example, Michelle Dickens from TPN, making sure that the property you buy actually makes financial sense by having a look at the market value, having a look at the rental collections in the area. There's a certain aspect of due diligence you should always do on a property. In fact, it was just this week I spoke to an individual and I was talking about his property portfolio and I said, but what made you make the decision to buy the property? And he said, well, it just sounded right, it looked good, but he, he never ran the numbers on the property, he didn't look at the actual area research because you know right now in South Africa there's certain areas which are doing fairly well and there's certain areas where there's a downward trend so you want to make sure whether you're buying your first home or an investment property that you're buying an area where you could expect some capital growth where it makes financial sense yes no one has a mirror ball ladies and gents and no one really knows what's going to happen to the property market in the next six months to 12 months so there is some uncertainty but just remember with uncertainty comes opportunity. So if you sat there watching this and you're a beginner, before you go buy the very first property, make sure you are getting the right education, understanding the property market. And that's what we do at the SA Property Investors Network. We have events. So every single month we have a national networking event. And in fact, this past Wednesday, we had an event called Future Proof Your Property Portfolio. You know, coming out of COVID, going into 2021, what happens if there is another pandemic? What happens if uh, COVID comes back and you're in the property industry? How can you protect your property portfolio? We have certain keynote speakers talking about, you know, multi-lets versus buy-to-lets. You know, have you learned how to put an installment sale agreement in place?
And whether you're buying your first home or a second investment or a fifth uh, or, or, or your fifth property, the question is, you know, are you buying in the right entity? Are you buying in your personal capacity about um, a, a, tra a trust structure or a company? You know, there's so many different facets to property investing. And that's what we do at the SA Property Investors Network is the last Wednesday of every month. We have our national networking event where we bring our partners on board. So Absa Bank is a partner of the SA Property Investors Network. And Absa Bank will always give us an update as to what is happening in the banks and giving us some advice as to how can we get the best bonds through the banks. Then we have Sap and Drive, which is a free platform for you to manage your properties. We'll have various guest speakers like Michelle Dickens from TPN always updating you with regards to what is happening here in South Africa and what resources and tools do you need to be a successful property investor. And as I said, that could be buying your first investment or perhaps you want to upgrade and get a few more properties under your belt. So just make sure, ladies and gents, that if you do want to get into the property space, understand that there's two important elements. You've got to go raise the finance and you've got to find the deal. And the deal you find needs to make financial sense. And it's not as easy as people think it is. And that is why you do need to get the right education and work with individuals who have been in the property space for a number of years. So I really hope that helped you. Uh, please go out there. Come speak to us at the at Absa Bank stand. Come speak to us at SA Property Investors Network. And let us see how we can help you move forwards. TPN is a proud partner of ABSA's Bachelet products. Use the TPN property analytics tools to help you to manage your assets. If you're an investor and you're looking to buy a new property, use the TPN property valuation report to get the current market value of the property that you are busy looking at. If you're an investor and you already have properties in a suburb or you're looking to invest in a new suburb, use the TPN investor report. Here, we'll give you all the property analytics you need to help you determine if that suburb meets your investment goals. Things like the property transactions within the suburb to help you determine capital appreciation for that suburb. The average rental price to help you determine the yield of that particular suburb. We'll also give you risk information. What are the tenant delinquencies in the suburb? What are the tenant vacancies in the suburb? And of course, you can look at it from an affordability perspective to help you determine if this suburb is in your affordability range. Use the TPN software to help you manage your property. Step number one, place a quality tenant. The TPN Credit Bureau is the primary credit bureau for the property market. TPN collects information on where a tenant has rented in the past, what the rental was that they were paying, and importantly, how they paid their rent on a monthly basis. This information is vital to determine how your tenant will behave in the future. We supplement the information with TransUnion, SACRA, Deeds and SIPS information. This overall rent check inquiry will score your applicant to determine whether or not they're a good tenant to place in your property. Step number two, use a written lease agreement. The TPN lease pack is the most widely used lease agreement in the country. And we partner with SSLR Incorporated, who are our drafting attorneys. Not only do we have lease agreements, but the pack also includes your application forms, your inspection, inspection documents, any document that you may need in order to contract with your tenant. Step number three, manage the lease on a property management system, not on Excel. So our rent book system allows you to invoice your tenants, to manage your cash flow, to manage your suppliers. If you're an investor with less than 20 properties in your portfolio, Rentbook is a free service that you can use. Come find us at tpn.co.za. Thanks, Michelle. Hello, everyone. My name is Eugene Strauss. I'm the Managing Executive of APSA's Life Insurance Businesses. Today, I want to share with you a couple of thoughts about why it's a good idea to reassess your life insurance when you're buying a home. Now the first place to start is that I do understand that life insurance is not something we want and like to think about. We associate it with death and unfortunate events like uh, becoming disabled and unable to work. And at APSA we think about it a bit differently. We think about it as actually you're enabling a future generation's possibilities. And it's part of a step that you can take to leave things better because you are actually securing your legacy when you buy that life cover. 
So one of the first things that I want everyone to bear in mind is that when you're buying a home, it's a significant financial decision. And that's usually an important time for you to reassess how much life cover you have. Um, and why that's so important is, yes, while you are buying an asset in the form of your home, you are also borrowing against that asset. And if you are going to use the asset as a security for the loan only, what will happen if something happens to you is you need to actually sell the home to secure, um, to, to settle the debt. What that means, though, is that you would still need to provide for your loved ones in terms of a place to stay. And that comes with cost. So when you are buying a home, you've got to look at, do you have a nice life cover to not only cover the debt associated with the home loan, but to also make sure that there's enough left for you to invest to secure your legacy and to make sure that, that you can protect the livelihoods of your loved ones. The second thing that, you know, we get a question around that you've got to consider is, but I already have life cover. Do I need to take out additional cover or not? Now, using your existing life cover as security over your home loan is an option. It's something you can consider and every individual's circumstances is different. However, you have to make sure that you have enough life cover. To the point I've made earlier, if you haven't reassessed whether you've got enough life cover, you should do that. We do that through a financial needs analysis, which our advisors can help you with. And what the advisor does is he looks at what is that amount that you need to cover the home loan, as well as have enough left to secure the legacy of your loved ones. The third thing to think about is, you know, what is credit life relative to life insurance? And this has been something that's been very topical currently. So firstly, credit life is a form of life insurance. What credit life, life does it's essentially a life cover where regulation prescribes what the maximum amount is that you can charge for the cover. It also prescribes, you know, which benefits have to be cover, covered. So you have to cover in the event of death, disability, permanent or temporary, as well as uh, retrenchment and loss of income. So, for example, if you, are, you, you, you get retrenched, the credit life policy will cover up to 12 months installments. Now, usually credit life gets underwritten on a pool of risks. So you don't look at only the individual um, at stake and look at their unique risk. You look at the pool. And what ends up happening is it's a very valuable product for lower value loans, but it can become expensive for higher value loans. And that's where a more traditional life insurance cover policy comes in. So both of them do have a place um, and, and w which one you decide will come down to the advice you get and, and your unique situation and circumstances. The fourth thing to think about is that price is not always king when it comes to life insurance. Now, firstly, I do understand that, you know, as, as consumers, we are in a lot of pressure. Um, COVID-19 has had an impact on the economy and on people's livelihoods. And therefore, price is important. But life cover does not have to be that expensive. So as a, as a bank offering life cover, what we do is we use the current processes and systems we have when we sell the home loan and we try and sell your life cover. And that means that you can actually secure life cover if you're a female graduate in the age of, at the age of 30 with good health, it's gonna cost you about 160 Rand a month. That can go up to three, 400 Rand depending on your age and your health, but it's not as expensive as you would think. So don't just shop on price because the benefits you get is also very important to consider. You have to consider whether it covers all the events you want covered, including things like loss of income. What we've seen is that a lot of people, when they buy life cover, they end up you know, trying to go for the basic benefit to save money. And then when things happen, like they lose their income, there's not enough cover in their policy to cover that. So really consider also the take up of loss of income type benefits when you're buying that life cover. The last thing that I wanted to share about is that if you're uncertain, talk to someone. And as a bank, we can help. So as a bank, we offer many, many choices in terms of how you got, we guide you through this journey. If you want, we have financial advisors that can talk to you about a full needs analysis and your full spectrum of life insurance needs. But then we also have people in our contact centers that you can contact who are accredited at dealing with this product and can explain to you the benefits that you're buying. While we try and make things simple, it's a key a component for us. We do understand that sometimes you need to talk to someone and we have people in our contact centers that can help. If you also want to buy straight through end-to-end -end online, you can also do that. We have an online capability where you can, by answering questions, you can buy life cover. But 
if you get stuck, we also have a web chat functionality where we will chat in a advisor to help you through that process. So another example of where, as a bank, we can help. And that's a real example of where, as APSA, we do more so you can. Thank you, everyone. If you want more information from this presentation, please go to apsa.co.za. Everything we've spoken about today is there. You can look at more detail and you can contact us should you want to get more information or to apply for a home loan with APSA Home Loans. Thanks so much for your time and I look forward to meeting you out there looking for property investments.